Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. This is uh, DS Audio's record centering device. I just got this in for review and I want to show it to you. It comes in this very nice case and it comes with a little tool to get to the battery case so you can change the battery. And it comes with a little a reamer here so you can ream out the record if you need to, to center the record. But what's interesting about this device is that it works even if you don't need to ream out the record, even if you don't see serious eccentricity. So uh, let me take it out of the case here and I'm gonna bring it over to the turntable. So now I have it sitting on, uh, on the SME60 and it's rotating which is not what you want to, to do when you want to use it. So you, what you do is you, you grab it, you turn it on, and then you hold it, and you press measurement. Now it's made, now you see that? That's showing you how far off it is, and you're seeing where that cross is going. That's how far off the record is from being centered. And below, you're seeing <clears throat> that line. That's showing you uh, how far off it is. That line should be straight at the bottom there when it's correct. So now I'm going to stop the platter from spinning. And now I'm going to move the record. There's enough play in it. I'm moving with my fingers. I'm doing it with one finger while I, uh, now it's centered. I pushed it with my finger and now it's centered. And look at that line. You see that line? It's straight. So now I know it's centered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. I'm going to record this. This is a piano recording. I'm going to record a little bit of it with it off the way it was at the beginning. And then I'm going to record it the way it is now, and let's see if we can hear a difference. Okay, this is the uncorrected recording. Now it's fixed.
let's do another one of these, okay? Because it's so much fun. So this is a double 45 RPM record. And um, let's see what we get here, okay? Okay, this one is wildly, wildly off. And I knew it would be wildly off because when you play this double 45 at the beginning, it just goes back and forth. It's, it's, a, it's an RTI pressing from the early 2010s. They were having some trouble with, um, with stampers slipping in the die. That's what causes this most of the time. And it's almost always on side one, just that. So this is uncorrected. Okay, you see how bad it is, right? So I, I reamed it. This is the reaming device. It's a, it's a pretty precise, uh, very sharp thing you stick in the, in the, in the uh, spindle hole. And I did it to a certain degree. I, I didn't go too crazy with it. You saw how bad it was before. Now... It's not exactly centered, but it's much, much better. I reamed it out a little more, and look at that. I got it absolutely perfect. So now I'm going to record it. Both. Okay, now this is the corrected one. So obviously, this device, which costs around $6,000, is not for everyone. But if you've got uh, a big collection of records, and you listen to a lot of classical music or jazz, where there are sustained notes, and you've got records that are uh, pressed a little bit eccentrically, this is a way you can solve the problem and have the record uh, play concentrically and get rid of little uh, warbles in the record. So, especially with a collectible record. So if you have that collectible record that's not exactly pressed perfectly, now you can listen to it perfectly. Is it for everyone? No, not everybody will spend $6,000 for a device like this. And by the way, this uses the highest technology. Um, there's lasers in here, and it's basically a computer that reads the grooves and corrects it for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that, and uh, I'll see you next time.